Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Chris. Today we're going to talk about a question that I had last week uh, from a couple different teachers asking the same question of how do I take a small portion of a YouTube video and play just that? And uh, there's a couple different ways to do that, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, it basically involves using what's called an, an embed code. Uh, it's basically a small line of HTML, and if you don't know anything about HTML, don't worry about that part. I'm going to get you through that. Uh, the other part is then parking it somewhere uh, in those two places that we're going to, I'm going to show you how to park that is uh, one on a Google site that you can create and one's in a Microsoft Sway. Uh, first of all, let's go into this video. Uh, here I've got, uh, we shall go forward to the moon, you bet, super inspirational. Some websites, or uh, I'm sorry, some YouTube channels will have their content shareable. And uh, there's a share button on this particular video and it has the the URL here the universal resource locator and then here we have the embed code and when you click on embed you get this small snippet of HTML and like I said even if you don't know anything about that don't worry about it all we're gonna do is simply copy it and then we're gonna paste it into something that just lets us plug it in and you don't have to think much about it after that We're going to go into Google Drive. If you don't have a Google site, then that's one thing I would consider. Uh, I would have you consider making is a Google site. You just go into New, More, and then you go into Google Sites right here, and then it will take you into this location right here. From that, we're going to go in and click on the New Google Sites, and then if you don't have a, a web page created yet you can easily create one by hitting the create new site down at the bottom it'll ask you to give it a name uh, and if you don't give it a name right away it'll just do untitled site until you do uh, name that and then you can publish that out and then send that out to your students through Google Classroom or uh, some other means now here I already have my website created and I just created a one page item for videos that I want to paste. What I have here is just a one single iframe and it's pulling in this video from YouTube. So in order to do that, you're going to click on insert and then you simply click on embed here. It asks for that embed code that you copied from YouTube and I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to hit next. Next thing you know, I hit insert and I've already done that and this is what you get. The other way to do that is in Microsoft Sway. If you've not used Microsoft Sway, if you're, uh, if you're used to using Microsoft Outlook, if you click on this waffle up in the top, you can click on Sway here, and it will open this up. Uh, if you just want a one-page Sway, uh, you just do a blank Sway like I did. And then uh, I doctored it up a little bit. I added a picture here. I added a title. And then I added this plus I insert content, and this is where I added an embed card. And here I can do the same thing as I paste, and then you're good to go. You're ready to, uh, to play this and share this out with your students. Uh, quite easily, you can uh, copy that to your, and send that to your students, uh, and you can also send it to them actually through Google Classroom. Now the next part is, sometimes you're going to find out uh, a YouTube uh, video that does not have a sharing code. In this particular case, this does not have the same sharing content as this one does, but you can still share it out. An iframe or an embed code from some other uh, video, you can simply go in and click into right here. It says watch, question mark, and then it says equal. This is the video's basic URL. I'm going to copy this. And I'm simply going to go into my Google site. I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to paste that right there, right after the embed slash. And right after that URL, I'm going to put my question mark. I'm going to put start equals. And I believe on this particular video, I wanted it to start at a minute five. So I'm going to put 65 seconds. And then you're going to put an ampersand, end equals, and let's say we put, let's say, 180 seconds, 185 perhaps. It's a little past three minutes. And that's it. When I click on next, I'm going to click on save, 
and my video thus changes. So if you just want to have a one page uh, deal to where uh, you have this video change out every day, all you need is the, the last part of that video URL from YouTube and you can simply embed that into your video. The nice thing is, is when you go to publish this, And to test it out, I can simply click on this little uh, pull-down menu here and view published site. Here I have this one-page website and click on start. And here you can see it starts at 105. I have to close this ad out. And when it gets close to that three minute and five second mark, we'll have it start here. And right at this five second mark, you'll see that the video will end automatically. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. As always, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way when new content is pushed out, you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much and we'll see you next video.